Hey everyone, Will here, and welcome to No Man's Sky. Um, I did have a first impressions video uh, when I started. As you can tell, I'm not at the beginning of the game. Um, I had a video record it, and for some reason, my audio didn't record properly, my microphone audio. So, yeah. I had no commentary to use. So, I wanted to get in, show you guys around the system I had found so far. We'll start out on this planet. Um, this is my fifth or sixth planet, um, as I can show you here. Yeah, we have in this system one two, three, four, five, six. Six planets in this system. This is the only one I haven't named yet. I, I will name it eventually. And I have three life forms to still find on this planet. I haven't really discovered... I haven't really... Ex I guess I did explore this planet pretty thoroughly. Um, I explained... Uh, explained... Explained. Explored all of these planets pretty well already. And as you can see by my credits, I've been uploading my findings. So, if you're playing No Man's Sky, you may come across my star system. How fun is that? Um, I want to go to this one and go to that ruin, but it's actually in the water. And while I have... Yeah, this is my multi-tool. My multi-tool. 15 slots. I love it. It looks awesome. Um, and I've been upgrading my exosuit, my exosuit as well. And while I can do things like this, which increases my ability to swim for extended periods of time, and I actually have two of them. Um, this is the lesser, and I'm guessing this is the higher, as it costs more. Um, I just haven't really felt like building that just yet. But maybe I will for you guys today. And we'll go explore some underwater bits. How's that sound? I think that'll be fun. So, let me get over to my ship. Um, I do have the pre-order ship. Which is awesome and looks like a freaking X-Wing. Ooh, milestone. What do we got going on here? Oh, I traveled 75,000 units. See? It looks like a freaking X-Wing. Come on, Hello Games. That's so much an X-Wing. It's ridiculous. But, ah. Yeah, the PC version has a lot of, like, control issues. So let's see here, what do we need? We need zinc, carbon, and micro-density fabric. All right. Carbon's easy enough to get. Ah! That wasn't the gun going crazy. That was actually, like, the game doing some weird shit. That's what keeps happening to me. Caves. Oh, these caves are great. I love the planets. They're glorious, and they're beautiful, and I love them, and all I want to do is explore. All I want to do is play! That's all I want to do is just play this game. I'm addicted. I mean, just... I have been so excited for this game for so long. I want that ship. I love the look of that ship. Um, anyways. I've seen that ship prior, and I just really love the look of it. Um, I've been waiting for this game for a long time, because this game is exactly what I've always wanted on a... Nice. out of an online game. A game that has a shared community, but is... Did I scan this already? Yeah, alright. A shared community, but is pretty much played alone. Um, often I find when you have multiple people in a game online, it tends to turn into nothing but a bunch of PvP madness. 
and oh shit oh oh that keeps happening to me too did I scan you yeah all right um but I found that you know online games turn eventually turn into just PvP madness and it just stops being fun when you can't even play the game without worrying about being killed all the time. So, honestly, that's one of the main reasons why I don't play a lot of online games. But this game... This game speaks to me. Yeah, I know. I'm wandering around. I'm actually looking for the stuff I need, at least for... What do I need for the micro-density fabric? Oh, I can make that already. Alright, there we go. So all we need now is just... the rest of the carbon. Ha! Ah, what hit me? Ah! Oh! Shit! Alright. Woo! That's one I haven't seen. That's something I like, is you can actually scan dead creatures, too. It's not just... ...living creatures. Ooh, look, another one. We have two species- ah! Oh. Duh. There we go, we're good. <laughs> That's why I tend to grab plutonium everywhere I go. So... I'm going to go look around and gather up the materials we need for, uh, the, what is it? The aeration, aeration membrane tau. Well, it looks like all we need is some zinc at this point. Whoop. So I'm going to look for zinc, and I will bring you guys back once I have it. Once I have, oh, all this, oh my god, did you see that? That's crazy. Alright, I'll bring you back once I get all the zinc we need. And we're back. Um, so I have enough for it. Of course. Let's construct it really fast. There we go. So now we have that installed. Um, and we're actually going to refuel our thrusters here. There we go. Oh, go back. I want to get some stuff out of my inventory here. There we go. So, let's head over to the other planet. I figure we'll go together and we'll fly together. And we'll just talk about the game a little bit while I'm at it. Um... Let's level off. There we go. And let's get out of the atmosphere enough so that we can hit our pulse engine. What's really cool, if you haven't seen it too much, is I know a lot of people have been having a hard time with the flight mechanic. You can actually point at where you want to go if you have a marker and just sit back. It'll actually take you directly there. Um, and this timer that you see on the screen where it says one minute and 30 something and it's counting down um that's actually something maybe it's a michigan thing and i'm just super familiar with it that's the distance um not in increments of like units or miles or anything like that it's distance in the measure of time so this should take us roughly about a minute and a half to get here and then when we do, we're going to have to land. Um, I'm really, really loving this game. Aside from some control issues, the game is a blast. Um, I know a lot of people have been having, like, using user interface issues and a hard time figuring out what they're supposed to do and everything like that. Honestly, I'm finding the game extremely intuitive. Um, I don't know why I'm finding it so intuitive when so many other people who 
Whoa! Ooh, we're tripping balls! <laughs> oh, man. Whew. That's fine. Oh, there we go. We must have been turning. In some weird way. Boom! And now we're out. And that's fine. We're going to avoid the hostile ships. And entry. There we go. And now we'll slow. Now we need to find a place to land. I want to find somewhere to land that's kind of close to the ruins. Preferably. Like a small island or something. That's not far. Ugh. That's my only... That's my issue. My issue with the flight controls. Um, they're very hard to use. They're very unresponsive. And I know you can change the sensitivity. Um, I haven't really played around with altering the sensitivity yet. Alright, so there's our thing. So let's land over here. Can we? Yep, all right. Awesome. So we're gonna land here. Look at that. All right. There's the ruins. It's gonna be fun. We have less than a minute to get there. Let's just make everything, make sure everything is nice and charged up. Well, that was weird. Um, let's go to our multi-tool. Alright. Yeah, we should be good. Hey, what up? Um, I have had a few confrontations with the Sentinels. Not too many. Most of mine have been trying to get into the... Let's get out over as close as we can, and in we go. All right. Most of mine have been issues of like, ah. Sorry. Most of mine have been issues of like the, oh, look at this. Holy shit. Oh my god. If you've ever wanted to know that sense of wonder of discovering something new in some weird place, this game will do that for you. Look at this. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. We're gonna back out a little bit. There. And let me see here. Is there a way to remove the HUD? Nope. Doesn't look like there's a screenshot mode. Well, that sucks. Oh well. Let's... Uh, alright. We'll have to come back, because we're losing air. Oh, hold on. Duh. Let's recharge it right here. Technology there we go. Wait. Now, HUD, can you go away? Hey, you, can you go away too? Thank you. There we go. Screenshot! That's going to be our screenshot, man. Ah, uh, this game. Alright, let's see what we got. We got a Gek plaque. 
As I touched the obelisk, images of the planet's ancient past fled my mind. The terrible beginnings of the Gek have been absorbed by the strange stone, and the tail, their tail seems desperate to escape. The larval pools of Balaron gave a glorious rise to the first spawn. As we sprung forth, the outer edge recoiled in fear. None could oppose our rise. None will bring about our end. So we'll do that. My knowledge of the Gek has increased. <laughs> we learned the word for fat. Nice. And my standing has increased with the Gek. I'm in pretty good standing with the Gek. At this point. Um, we're pretty good friends. That's right. I'm scanning anything and everything I can get my hands on right now. We're underwater. You don't get a lot of these chances. There we go. Aw, oh, man. And it's so beautiful and peaceful under here. Look at this place. It's gorgeous down here. This is so pretty. <gasps> Guys, I'm not trying to, like, not talk, but I'm just... I'm just speechless. I'm kind of in awe right now of this place. And down here. Technology recharge. There's something about underwater that just, it's mysterious and it's scary, but at the same time it's gorgeous and beautiful. Ugh. And this planet is covered with water. What's over here? Is that in the water? I don't think it's in the water. Up we go. So nice, so peaceful. We don't have to recharge this right this time. We're gonna be out of the water before it, before our oxygen gets too low. Hey, see, told you. But what's over here? Is it in the water? I think it might be. Let's go check this out. I'll bring you back when I get over there. Alright, we're back, guys. Look at this. We have some crazy building down here. Alright, we already discovered that. Let's save and get this waypoint. Ipthish's Reef. Where's the entrance to this place? This place is clearly abandoned. Yep. Oh, it's one of these ones. With this creepy ass shit in here. Look at this place. This place is so creepy. 
get some credits. And over here, we'll grab some plutonium. And these will have more plutonium in them. Alright, let's recharge this. <laughs> right, and let's see what we got. The oceans here are blood. Nothing lives in them. They are alive themselves. Great protein life forms as large as continents. Or perhaps there is only one of them. What does such a thing consume, I ask myself? The answer seems to be everything. I found evidence of past life here, but no signs of it. Does the native flora and fauna hibernate when it comes to eat them? Then return and repopulate once it retreats? I can feel it moving inside my brain, whispering. It wants me to discard my suit and swim. Nice data. Discover something coded. Something has been left that will aid me. Ooh. A new shield. Oh, well, a shield upgrade. All right. So, yeah. We've explored this aquatic planet. We checked out some ruins. Um, we checked out a rejected base. Um, I do plan to do more No Man's Sky videos. Um, that was weird. I don't know what that icon was. <laughs> I plan to do more No Man's Sky videos, which will probably be mostly a lot of like planetary, uh, planetary exploration since that's what I want from the game. Um, and I at least want to complete one star system entirely. And I'll do, probably do a good portion of the like scanning and um, completion stuff offline. Well, off camera. So you guys don't have to sit here and be bored and... What not. What do you got here? What about here? There we go. See, look at that. So many cool things! Alright, where's our ship? Out there. We have another thing over here. Should we go look at it? Let's go look at it together. Bring you guys back once I get there. Alright, guys, I'm not there yet, but I wanted to show you this. It's a hole. Just in the ground that leads to a cave. Um, I don't have grenades. Oh, what's coming at me? Oh, shit! Um, well, now we're fucked. <laughs> Alright, cool. Die! 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 Oh my god. There we go. Alright, I think we can get out here. Alright, whew. That was close. I didn't think I'd fall through the hole. What are you? We're gonna shoot you down. That's what we're gonna do. Damn. Maybe we're not. I saw a reindeer thing up here. There you are. Oh, we already found that. All right. There we go. going. There's our ship. We had a question mark that we were heading towards. Um, see, there it is. Alright. I'll bring you guys back as soon as I get there. Alright, everyone, we're there. Check this thing out. I don't know what this is. It's a monolith. 
so that's really cool. Oh, uh, let's check it out. Memories imbued into the rock long ago by ancient Gek Hunnel into my brain. I rec recoil, but am compelled to somehow understand. The first spawn is the Scourge of the Outer Edge. In its wake, enemies will fall. Empires will fall. Planets will crumble. Galaxies will kneel. Tremble at our name, for we are the almighty Gek. None can oppose our ascension. There we go. So yeah. I think we accomplished a lot today, guys. This is pretty cool. Um, I will do more No Man's Sky videos. Hopefully you will all want to watch them. Um, I w like I said, I will probably do a lot of like exploration and whatnot. I will try to work towards getting to the center as well. Might take a while, but you know, we'll figure it out. So thank you guys for joining me. If you like this video, hit that like button. Share and favorite as you see fit. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I post regularly, and probably now with No Man's Sky, I'm going to try to post even more often. Um, I'm not making any promises just yet, but I'm going to try to... With my new schedule at work, I'm going to try to work out a way to record more and possibly get some more videos out. So I'll probably batch record throughout the week and then edit them on the weekends so that the following week I have a bunch of videos for you guys. So hopefully soon we'll be able to hang out a lot more often and whatnot. So subscribe if you would like to see more and thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. Be good to each other.